My name is Hatla Rose Arnasdóttir. Um, I am the manager. And this used to be a one big farm. We are four siblings at Efstedalur, three sister and a brother. All of us feel like we are very lucky that we grew up on a farm. The family has a lot of plan for the future. We want to be good farmers and we want the people to know the process. The plan from, for my parents, they were, that was only to be farmers. Grandpa said, made us promise two things. Number one, we would always be farmers. They never believed that they would open a restaurant or do kind of crazy things like this. I can totally stay for many days because there's plenty of things to do at the farm. We have a great view and we have a little, little baby cows you can pet. We have horses, there are dogs running around, cat. Um, there's a pig and a sheep on the way and chickens. And just watch the farmers working. So here is plenty to do. A lot of people who come and visit Iceland, they drive the golden circle. People love to go to Gudfas and Geyser. It's one of the most popular places to go to. Just a great thing to stop by and have ice cream in Efstedal, see the farm, have a dinner, even though you don't stay at the hotel. It's a little great thing for the children that when they have been in the car all day to stop and run around at the farm. My name is Solve and uh, I'm a farmer. Growing up in Efstedalur is, I explain it as privilege. Nature, animals, always surrounded with family members. When I went to Reykjavik for school, I, my hat was always in Efstedalur. When you work with a farm to table concept, you put yourself in a completely different working methods than maybe normal restaurants. How we need to do here in Efstedalur is uh, our main basis is to make something from the milk, to have something uh, made from the meat, and then you always need some sides with these things. We take uh, a drive uh, once a week around here on the Golden Circle, get paprika, mushrooms, strawberries, potatoes. Uh, we have plates here that is completely local food, nothing uh, important to the island. So these things we focus on having like what we can do. First we started a steakhouse and then we kind of ended as a burger place. People traveling on the Golden Circle take the lunch stop here. So you want burger instead of uh, steak. You maybe saw the sign in the ice cream store, life is short, uh, eat dessert first. That's kind of the motto on the farm. We just want to have fun. We love working on the farm and we love having guests on the farm. And uh, that's, that's where the future is. My name is Guðrún Karta Snæbjörsdóttir and I'm one of the siblings. I am just helping out the communication, keeping the staff in action. Uh, when I was growing up it was quite, kind of a quiet farm. The only people here were, was the family and the workers. Now we have so much activity, so many people here. It's a privilege, you know, because of the freedom you have, you get to experience so many things. I think for every children should be able to have this contact with animals and see how things are how things work, you know, it, the milk is not just you go to the store and you buy the carton of milk, you know, what, what is behind that. Uh, we have a little um, dairy kitchen here on the premises. We just get the milk straight from the tank and uh, bring it there over and uh, we have some special equipment for it. So we have been developing our rhubarb ice cream. It's really nice when you have Italian people saying it's uh, buonissimo. <laughs> Everyone loves ice cream, right? <laughs> but uh, um, I think our restaurant is also uh, 
quite far with uh, being the selling point. And of course it's the cows, they are, they are our main stars. My name is Linda Dirk Snyder-Stottir and uh, I'm the youngest sister of four who are living in Epstedalur. The best thing about us being siblings here is that we can rotate a lot. Uh, otherwise I can uh, both milk the cows and ride the horses. We have dairy cows and we have some cattle and we have horses. Uh, my family has been breeding horses since I can remember and all of the family members love to take a ride. Then we have all of our dogs. We're about to get some chicken. We've always had chicken. We took a little break but we're getting them back and some sheep and pigs. And so you can both do horse rental. You can uh, take a look at the dairy cows. Uh, what I love about this here is when you drive through Iceland you see all of these farms but here you get to well, see how the farm works, take a look around, get some education. Something that you don't really appreciate until you learn something different. Like uh, I always lived here, born and raised here, so I don't know anything else. We are always going to be a dairy farm or a farm with animals. My grandfather, he always wanted this to be a farm. This is an opportunity for people who well know about farming and want their kids to learn as well, to bring them here. And they'll sell them the cows and the horses. And yeah, Icelandic nature. <laughs>